Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. My name is Omer and I'm going to take you in the next 15 minutes or so to a journey of how fashion is going to look like. The world is screaming for a change. People are changing the way we express ourselves, the way that we behave as people and the way we behave as consumers. Businesses are changing. New business models are emerging as e-commerce is booming and retail brick and mortar is melting down. And last but not least, our planet. Sustainability has become a major building block of everything we do. We have to do things differently. Let's talk a little bit about e-com. In the last decade or so, e-com was booming. We all know that, we all feel that on ourselves and our vicinity. But last year when COVID struck, in only three months, we saw a surge at the size of everything that took place a decade before that. And looking into the future, we see a doubling by 2025. So if only a third of, uh, e of transactions are powered by e-commerce now, by 2025, we actually expect to see a two-third of all transactions being done on e-com. So e-com is unstoppable. And what does that mean to our industry? What does it mean for the industry of fashion and textile? Excess production is probably one of the biggest pain points of our industry. About 30% of everything we produce is never sold. And this weighs a heavy toll, not only on the financials of everybody behind it, but also on our planet. Inventory forecasting. Inventory forecasting is actually one of the reasons why we have so much excess production. We think we know what people are going to buy, but it's not the case anymore. We don't control the trends and therefore we don't control their buying patterns of our consumers. And slower activity is one of the biggest problems as well. Why? Because things are changing so fast in today's world and the fashion industry is just not suitable to meet that speed. But things can be different. Things can be different when you think about on-demand production. When you think about fashion as being done sustainably and on demand, things can truly change, the world can change, the industry can change. Some of the categories in the industry are already working on demand. Some of our biggest customers are the biggest on demand players out there. These guys, the same as the, as the on demand verticals, grew in the last decade. But last year, they boomed. As we saw before, e-com was booming and on demand in those categories was booming as well. We look at these categories and we see them as a guiding light of where the industry should and would go in the next few years. Based on this understanding, we at Cornet took upon ourselves the challenge of shifting the industry to on-demand. Understanding the shift in demands in the market, understanding the need for new and flexible business models, we created an ecosystem that is built on automated and digitized production floor on a virtual A to Z workflow and on a real-time data management system that allows an A to Z automated, digitized, on-demand, sustainable production of fashion. Now, let's talk a little bit about technology and how our new groundbreaking technology can really be of service of on-demand fashion. A few weeks ago, we launched the Max technology. It's the next generation in our technology for pushing the industry to on-demand production. This new technology holds within itself the power to make more and more verticals and more and more applications viable to on-demand production. In the example you see here, you see how the classic Cornet process of controlling the neopigment dispersion on a textile is being modulated for 3D production. So instead of just controlling color and consistency, we also control structure and form, creating a completely new world of capabilities and possible applications out there. Let's take a deeper look at the technology. A part of the Max technology is the XDI capability. The XDI takes 2D printing on textile and transcends it into the third dimension. So not only we can control color and hand feel as before when we print it on textile, now we take it to 3D decoration, allowing us to emboss and create new structure and new features on textile. Now, you may ask yourself, what can be done with this? So what we're good at at Cornet is taking a multitude of analog processes, streamlining them, digitize them, and make them sustainable. What we're doing here is allowing for digital technology to emulate analog processes. So we can emulate embroidery, we can emulate high density embellishment, and we can do all of this in a single digital shot on a textile. No pre, no post, no other processes. One time, that's it. So we talked a little bit about the technology on the floor. Now let's talk about the technology on top of the floor. 
At Cornit, we created an ecosystem for real-time floor management from A to Z, enabling on-demand fashion fulfillers to control every step of garment production. We're talking about a seamless integration from a virtual workflow into a physical workflow, creating a garment from design to a finished garment within a matter of minutes. Everything digitized, everything seamless with all the data on top of it. Now, let's look at some uh, use cases. So a couple of weeks ago, we actually joined forces with Tel Aviv Fashion Week, which became Cornet Fashion Week Tel Aviv. And what you see here are two very exquisite examples of how this technology can be put into life and can be actually be made into a game changer in the industry. In the middle, you can see a full collection that was actually made in two weeks, okay? From nothing to a full collection in two weeks. And the black and white dress that you see here was actually a challenge. It was a challenge for 24 hours, a couple of very creative designers. In 24 hours, let's make up a dress from design to print, cut, saw, and on the catwalk. And this from, from design to catwalk in one day. On the left-hand side, you see a very interesting project we're running with Fashion Enter UK and ASOS. How to implement sustainable on-demand fashion in mainstream applications. Guys, this is not just a vision. This is the new way of making fashion. This is on-demand sustainable fashion in action. Now, let's talk about Cornet X. Cornet X is the new ecosystem to enable all this to actually take shape. Cornet X is the new standard of fashion production. We created a full ecosystem for consumer demand creation all the way to supply fulfillment to actually enable on-demand sustainable fashion manufacturing. On the front end, we have a multitude of tools to support the new e-com model, the new consumer trends, the new consumer requirements. After each and every order is being generated, we have a smart network that will route the production to be as close to the consumer as possible. This is the meaning of smart production routing. Smart production routing means that no more supply chains that just rely on where supply is, but supply networks that actually rely on where the consumer is. And on the back of all this, we're talking about A to Z fulfiller floor production. Managing the floor all the way from end to end, when order comes in until the order comes out, both on the physical, on the virtual, and on the data layers. This is the true essence of sustainable on-demand fashion production. Our mission is to become the operating system for on-demand sustainable fashion. This is not a dream. This is the reality that we live in right here and right now. I invite all of you to join us in this journey of changing the fashion industry for the better. So I see that we still have a few minutes. So for those of you who would like to stay and learn a little more, uh, we invite you to a Q&A session, obviously, after this. Great. Oh my God. Great. Thank you very much, Omar, for that incredible presentation. And, and great to see your, uh, I think that could be your house there with all those incredible prints in the background. So we're now joined live from Israel with the Corny team. Hello. So I have a question. Hello, guys. Well, welcome. Great to, great to see you. Um, great to see that, of course, that we were talking earlier regarding uh, the what's happening in Israel. And great to hear that there's uh, this there's, there's, there's peace again. Um, coronavirus is under, in, under control in Israel. And, uh, and of course, you're all safe and well in Israel. A question from my side, really, um, in terms of the let's talk about the audience here today, which are really focused on the wide format printing and the interior decor markets. The prints from the Presto. And it's incredibly exciting because I've just seen the news this week that Corny Presto is now landed in the UK, which is great. Um, really mm -hmm. part of that on-demand localized production, which we're all seeing now. What is the what is the comparative hand feel between the pigment and let's say reactive Dyson? So when you're looking on the um, on the quality of the of the fabric, basically we're talking with the Corny Presto. We have the Robusto ink set that uh, brings a very high quality in terms of. Uh, of uh, hand feel and um, and uh, drape in terms of the feel for the for the for the fabric and the different applications, 
Um, basically, when you're comparing it to Dysab, so Dysab uh, is mainly for uh, uh, for polyester. So uh, we are comparing it, I would say, in a quite a, in a good level. Um, but you also need to remember that uh, unlike the Dysab, the Presto opens you to another more applications and fabrics uh, that you can get uh, only way while using the dye sublimation machinery. Fantastic. Is, is there any limit to the fabrics? Is there any fabrics that can't be used? No, so we are quite open wide in terms of uh, fabrics. Actually, uh, during the last uh, fashion week that we hosted uh, here in Israel and Tel Aviv, we saw the capabilities of reaching to, uh, I would say, to the, to the max in terms of uh, um, delicate and gentle fabrics such as uh, silk and chiffon. So we're getting to a very, I would say, a wide range of uh, fabrics that let us uh, basically to give the customer a, a wide opportunities for him to choose from. Fantastic. And and how has how has the, the the last year been for Corny? Because I see that you've you know you've you've got some great launches coming about. Um, you really follow the FESPA trend right now because even uh, that the in twenty nineteen we'd already identified the the opportunities that exist for for manufacturers like well, for the for the print industry. Um, we were talking about on demand is going to get better. Uh, it's going to on demand mm -hmm. customization. Uh, sh shorter runs, faster turnaround, etc. And then, of course, 2020 happened, and everyone was jostling for position. So, what's 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 the what's the feedback been like from your customers, and how are they getting ready for the new world? So, basically, we're seeing. So, we are very uh, we are very exciting while we're looking at the market. We are thinking that. Uh, uh, that the market from year to year is moving from one inflection point to another. Uh, the market is now, I would say, mostly moving from on-demand printing to on-demand production. And with us, we are basically accelerating this move. Um, we are seeing uh, a movement to a vertical integrated solution that the customers wants to produce everything in-house from uh, sourcing the fabrics, uh, printing them, cutting them, and fulfilling them until the, the customer. And with our solution uh, that we have here in-house with the Presto, we can basically deliver it. And uh, more to Fantastic. come later this year. Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've just, I've just, I've just seen Tomar a message in the chat about what what the new Presto Max will be able to do. <laughs> so this is more, I would say, more to come. But I can give a hint. So. Uh, and maybe uh, even I, I can turn to Rick to, to, uh, to, to talk about it. But earlier this year, we launched the, the Max technology. So the Presto Max is part of it. Uh, the Atos Max was basically yeah. the first launch that we did. And the Presto Max will be, uh, will be based on the Max technology. And we will share some more info um, during Fantastic. the further this year. Exactly. Thank you for those samples. I have this. I have the samples for the Max um, at home, which I'm going to share with Graham, who's our head of technical at FESPA. So um, we're going to be looking at those, and that's an incredible technology offering incredible opportunities um, for customization, but also real special effects, which have been produced by digital printing, which is fantastic. What's the feedback like been from the Max since the launch last month in April? So I right. so we turn over. Yeah. You want me to answer that, Thomas? Yeah, sure, sure. Go uh, ahead. So it's been uh, amazing, really. We've got uh, a lot of uh, excellent feedback, uh, both from the events that we had uh, uh, together with FESPA on the, on the product, the launch of the product, and uh, also from everybody who received samples or have seen the uh, demos in our demo centers, uh, are very excited about what this uh, technology can do and what this product can uh, bring to the market. Fantastic, uh, Tomar. If you could, yeah, Tomar. Just a question on the on the let's say on the Presto machines as well. What's what's the the washing and durability like for those? So we are we are. I would say that we are performing ourselves. The, we are want to to reach the highest degree. So uh, in terms of uh, capabilities in rub and wash, uh, we also share this information. We are getting to the highest degrees in cotton and also in polyester. Uh, we are very uh, strict in our um, in our, uh, I would say, 
in our destinations in terms of quality. And I uh, invite the, the crowd that is watching us to, to call us and uh, get uh, some samples from us to see how, it, uh, how it's the, the fabrics are ours. Fantastic. And, and also, I know, I know you work very closely with the, the design uh, community, especially at the, the Tel Aviv Fashion Week uh, just very recently as well. Are designers becoming more open to digital textile printing? Uh, do they understand the technologies? Um, and also, are they prepared to pay the prices for those products as well when they're printed? Yeah, so, so, so two things. So first comment, yes, so they are absolutely open. The, um, the meaning that we have uh, on-demand solution. So basically, you can, as Omer showed in, the, in his presentation, you can come with an entire collection in a few days from idea to execution. Um, and the designers understand that, and also in terms of uh, value, for, value for money, in terms for the client, the opportunity to, to deliver in a very short time manner, um, I would say design free with no limitation, what type of fabric you, you can um, bring to the customer. So the customer is willing Fantastic. to pay for that, and, and also the designer. Of course, you know, I'm, I myself am a big fan of on-demand customized production. So um, you order that T-shirt, you don't want to wait two weeks, but you want to customize that design. And, and um, you know, we are of a generation right now. If we don't receive that product tomorrow, um, then we start to get a little bit upset why we can't receive it fast. So it's really great to see. Um, and especially, you know, I've seen what you've been doing with some manufacturers um, print, uh, printers such as Printful, for example, um, who have got an incredible network and really, really um, taking us to the next level of production. Um, just a final, final in, in the chat, in terms of sustainability, in terms of certification, um, for example, the, the OCO techs, uh, what certifications there do you have, for example, with both the DTG and DTF? So we have the, basically the, the GOTS and the um, ECO techs in terms of the sustainability uh, certification for the uh, for the fabrics. Fantastic. And I, I love guess, your, I love your camp. Sorry, go ahead. Rather no, go me. ahead. I was just going to say, I love, I love your, um, your carbon neutral project as well, which you've initiated um, in terms of the MAX technology as well. So congratulations on this initiative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much, guys. Um, pleasure having you. And as, as I've said, um, Corneet, um, is available for more product demos, more product information um, later on today. So, and more information just goes straight to their stand after the event. So, thank you from us. Thank you guys in Israel. Thank you. Well, Bye -bye. good to see you all. Keep healthy and keep safe. Thank you very much for joining us thank on. Thank you very much.